everybody boxing ball back again today i got dagger with me he's my caramel he has a mix um i do know exact percentage of them i have it written down um he does have coastal and orange eye in them i got him from ed lily and i absolutely adore this boy and he's got great purples i mean he's just a gorgeous looking carpet python what's not to love and he's got an awesome head stamp it almost looks like a skull and don't mind his little blowing out air that's normal for carpets and, and and you know pythons in general even boas will do it and the cool thing about this guy is he don't care that i touch his head he is not a head shy snake i can rub his chin he absolutely is just a great snake now when i first got him he was very huffy and and hissed a lot and, and bit me several times but that's because he was little and he's afraid i was going to take my teeth because ah, that's what they think you're going to do and that's why Sometimes carpet pythons and other snakes get a, a bad reputation of being biters, especially when they're babies, um, because they're just, they're so tiny, they're always afraid someone's going to eat them. And, you know, over time and building a bond with him, he's just become just a wonderful carpet python to own. And I don't really have any big plans with him on breeding. I'm sure I'll breed him. I got enough snakes to breed him too. It's just something I'm taking my time with you know he's just a gorgeous boy look at that white belt it's so beautiful I mean just I'm absolutely in love with this guy and I don't show this guy off enough but he's just an absolute lover boy he really is and that brings me to knowing your snakes you know getting to know your snakes they will give you signs you can read your snakes uh, you know I know when he's hungry I know I know when all my snakes are hungry I, and they might not want to eat what I'm giving them and then they'll, they'll refuse food but that's just because I'm not giving them the prey item that they want or that they desire that doesn't mean he is a hungry that just means he's like no I don't want that rat I don't want that mouse I want a chick I want a quail you know so and sometimes you got to find what your snake likes to eat and you know, you got to learn how to read different signs, and they'll tell you. They'll they'll let you know when they want to be handled, when they don't want to be handled, when they want to come out, when they don't want to come out. You know, when they're they'll let you know. There's lots of things that you can do. It's not like a dog or a cat, like my dog Slash. Slash, come, sit. Now, if you see here, when I call him, he knows to come. He knows to get right in front of me, and he knows to sit down. It's not, he, a, a snake is not going to do that. But that doesn't mean you can't create that bond with your snake that you do with your dog or your cat. Oh, who's my good boy? He's uh, just turned 12 months old. He's 105 pounds already. He's going to be a big boy. And, but going back to what I'm talking about, you're, it's the same type of bond that I have with my dog that I have with all of my snakes. And it's, it's not the same thing he's not gonna lick my face and he's not gonna wag a tail and say oh I'm so happy to see you but he gives me other little signs like this like let me get to hold him let me let him know that I can touch him and I can move him and he comes out and I have snakes that in my snake room or my fortress of solitude as I like to call it that when I go down there will stick their head out from wherever they are will come out from the back will come out from behind their cave and just look and say hey daddy and, and there's other times where the snakes will stay in their cave or they'll stay perched and they're telling me, no, I don't want to be messed with right now. I'm happy with where I'm at and I don't want attention. And so you can learn how to read your snakes that way. You can, I know when all my snakes are hungry. Now that don't mean, like I, like I was talking about before, they're going to eat what you want, but they'll let you know what they, that they're hungry. They'll let you know when they're tired, when they're, they're tired of being messed with. And, they'll definitely give you you just got to learn and take your time and really learn how to read each individual snake and it doesn't matter if you have one snake or a hundred snakes you know as long as you can give the time that they need you can create a bond with every single one of your pets as I do and I have snakes that are fine with coming out and love to be messed with I have other snakes that are like you know what no I don't I like to, I don't mind you handle me but don't touch my face. I have other snakes that are like, don't touch my tail. Uh, Disciple is famous for it. He's absolutely hilarious. Sweet boy, but whatever you do, do not touch his tail. He don't bite you or anything, but he will whip that thing around and pull it back in front of him. He just does not like that. And that comes back to you reading your snakes and getting to know each individual snake that you have. I have other snakes that will huff and puff when I bring people over. I, I truly think they can get to know you. I really do. They know sense. Um, I have I, when I bring people over I have snakes that will disappear I won't see them I have snakes that will hiss 
and 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 just and otherwise they're sweet. And then I have other snakes that are at, don't care one way or another if people over. But you got to know each snake so that way you know what they're doing and what they like and what they don't like. And you can create that bond with your animals. And I'm kind of rambling today. I had no set thing. He just shed out a few days ago, and I just really wanted to bring him out and touch on just those few little subjects. And so, yeah, he's just a great boy. So I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to do another one here in just a second. I'm going to keep holding him. So anyway, this is Boxing Bow. Please like, click, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and you know I'll get back with you. Peace.